I feel like you were just here talking about the huge round from SoftBank. You've got now hundreds of millions more dollars um, to go at the competition. What does this kind of capital enable you to do? Well, it's great to be back. Um, the, the capital really was an opportunistic financing for us. We were not out on the fundraising trail. We received multiple inbounds and we're uh, excited to partner with Co2 and DST. The fundraising really allows us to accelerate our growth. Um, DoorDash is now the fastest growing last mile logistics player in the US. We're the largest player west of the Mississippi and we, re we really want to keep capitalizing on that. So we're investing in new products. Last week we just announced DashPass, the launch of our subscription program, as well as Pickup. We are extending our DoorDash Drive platform as well. We announced a partnership actually you know, with you um, and, and <laughs> about Walmart in which we launched a pilot in one state and 10 stores delivering groceries for them, that pilot has now scaled to uh, 300 stores in over um, 20 states. So if you don't need the money, why take it? Because now you have a $4 billion valuation to live up to. That's a lot of responsibility. Well, a lot of activity has been achieved even since the Series D, which we announced in March. Um, we are ahead of all of the goals that we outlined you know, you know, during that release. Um, first, we're ahead on geographies. We mentioned that we would be ending the year in 1,600 cities. We're actually going to end the year closer to 2,000 cities, so 400 ahead of our target. Um, we are adding more restaurants than ever before, uh, adding to our selection advantage. We already partner with more of the top 100 restaurants than anyone else and all of our peers combined. Since the Series D, we've announced partnerships with Chipotle as well as an exclusive partnership with the Cheesecake Factory. Uber just gave us a look at their financials and they are continuing to burn through cash and a lot of that money is going into Uber Eats. How well equipped do you think you are to take on the competition, whether it's Uber or Amazon or Instacart? Well, DoorDash has always been focused first and foremost on its customers, merchants, and dashers. It's what has allowed us to become the fastest growing service in the U.S. And for us, um, there's a lot of work left to do. Mm -hmm. um, we want to add more ways in which merchants can connect to the consumers inside their cities. We want to offer more services um, so that merchants can grow beyond their four walls. Um, it's a very, very early day still in the industry. Um, I know today we kind of take for granted that there are all these delivery companies. Today, you know, something like pizza, half of its sales are delivered, but 40 years ago only 4% of pizza sales were delivered. Today outside of pizza, only 6% of non-pizza sales in the U.S. are delivered. So there's a long runway ahead for the industry. So what do you think you have on Uber? Well, I, I think it's first and foremost our uh, merchant first approach that separates us from all of our peers. Rather than Uber first. It's our approach on making sure that the operations are perfect so that customers get the highest quality experience, the lowest delivery costs, and the fastest speed. So do you think there's going to be consolidation in this industry or will some of these smaller players, whether it's Postmates or Caviar, will they disappear? Because it's a really difficult business logistically and financially to justify. It, it, it is a... It is a difficult business. It, it, is a, um, it is also a massive opportunity. And I think that's why you see um, a lot of the players. But I think at the same time, what you're seeing is that capital as well as talent, as well as a lot of the initiatives are accruing to the winners in the space. And it, you know, th that follows much of the trajectory in many other industries. Does Amazon's increasing interest here, obviously another company with unbounded ambitions, does that concern you? We invite um, you know anyone who wants to come into the space. I, I think that this this industry has never been called uh, um, you know delivery and the offline world largely has been a world that's been ignored by the tech industry. If you think about the biggest um, companies built in the last two decades serving consumers, they're largely in the online world, even though the offline world is ten times bigger. So it's not surprising to me to see so many different entrants now come in. Um, and I think you know for DoorDash being someone who first and foremost started by serving the local businesses on the streets, um, that's been our mission from day one, and we're very, very excited to keep doing that. So given that it is a cutthroat business where there is a lot of competition, what keeps you up at night? The first thing uh, almost always is the people, mm -hmm. that, and whether or not we're providing the right opportunities for the people at DoorDash to do their best work. Mm -hmm. um, if we have the right people in the right positions, we are going to be just fine. Um, there's so many uh, opportunities um, that we want to build on in order to accelerate the transformation of every business in America and, and really make sure that the 60% of jobs that these businesses on the streets produce every year stay in America. You've got 
the backing of SoftBank and, and Masayoshi Son, do you have plans to go global? DST Global now? We are always looking um, at the broader market. Um, right now, the focus is on the U.S. and Canada.